The recovery process in eastern Kentucky will take months, if not years. But that isn't stopping people from supporting uh, survivors. Even those who've lost their homes to the floods are trying to help neighbors any really any way they can. Fox 56 reporter Tyler Melito has the story of a fundraising effort tied directly to the devastated region. What do we do now? You know, tell us what to do. Tell us what we need to do. You know, to to get the assistance that we need. That's that's all they're asking. They're not they're not there. You know, just just wanting something. They want to get reestablished. Robert Anderson calls Breathitt County home. Flooding in the county late July wiped away everything. I have a food truck to feed the homeless. It was taken away. Now I'm homeless. So you know, it, you you think of things. You know, okay, now what I'm going to do. Now Anderson is forced to answer the tough questions. Where's our home? Where we're going to live? And see his neighbors struggle. Living in tents, sleeping on the ground. That you know, that's it's tragic. It's really tragic. In partnership with Rose and Jim's Bar and Grill. Anderson is working to bring donations to flood victims. And it's just amazing how people are coming together and, and helping one another. It, it, it just shows you that man loves one another. There's brotherhood. There's brotherhood in man. It's just, it just sometimes it takes a tragic event to see that. As time goes on, Anderson says he wants to make sure Eastern Kentucky isn't forgotten. The, what you need to think about is, hey, I can get in my car and go to McDonald's. There's people right now that are struggling just to keep food for their families, having a hot meal for their kids. And those kids are sleeping in sleeping bags. You know, the comfort of home is gone. So every time you get that comfort, just think about those that don't have that. Tyler Molito, Fox 56 News. Anderson says the most important items flood victims need right now include shovels, bedding, and hot meals. We have a full list of items they're accepting on our website, fox56news.com. Donations will be accepted until August 27th at Rose and Jim's Bar and Grill off Georgetown Road.